Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I cannot believe it, but one of my favorite brands, Fantasy Cosmetica, sent me their new palette to review for you all. Y'all know I love Fantasy Cosmetica, so if you want to hear my thoughts on this palette, make sure you are subscribed and stick around for today's video. I do lots of indie brand reviews, things like that, so they sent me over their new palette and they also launched a fragrance with this collection as well. So I want to pop up a few uh, close-ups of the palette so you can see the palette up close, the swatches, all of that good stuff. I absolutely love the color story that they created with this palette. I think it's absolutely lovely. It's just like right up my alley. And then for the fragrance that they launched, I have, I'm going to pop up a picture. That way you can see the pricing and all the information. You can just like pause the video, screenshot it. And also the eyeshadow palette, they also sell singles. So I just wanted to pop that up that they sent me so you, so I don't mess anything up. That way you can see all the pricing and all the information and this is actually launching the day that you're seeing this on july 20th 9 a.m pst so yeah if you're watching this then hey the the palette's ready to get and i do have a an affiliate code with a brand it's britney ray if you like to use my code thank you so much i really do appreciate it before jumping into the eyeshadow palette i wanted to first give you my thoughts on the fragrance and read some key notes uh dark chocolate marshmallow and almond scent with floral notes are in here I, I honestly to me it smells like a mocha coffee and i do get a little bit of that marshmallow but you have to really love mocha it's super strong and I think this is going to be very long lasting. It's a very rich, deep mocha fragrance in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I definitely, I definitely smell the dark chocolate peeking through with the almond scent. It's very nice and I can't wait to see and test it and see how long it lasts. And also that the glass bottle, this is a 30 milliliter. I think that it's adorable. Like it's hand painted. I just love it. It's so pretty and like you can just tell, like you can feel the love, how much time and effort they didn't put, that they put into it. And it's a glass bottle. I've already sprayed it and it's a really nice spritzer on it as well. So yeah, so far so good, but it's a fragrance. So I'm going to have to, you know, use it for a while, test it, see how I like it. But yeah, I'm super grateful that they sent that over to me. I absolutely love fragrances. So that was a nice surprise along with the palette. Ah, guys, I love grungy color stories. And this is a kind of like neutral leaning grungy. I just love it. And the shimmers look so sparkly. I cannot wait to get this on my eyes. I have not swatched it yet. I know you all have seen the swatches, but I'm just ecstatic to try this. So let me zoom you in and let's see what the quality is about. Before I forget, I want to see if this is magnetic. I know that the three palettes that I own from the brand, they are not magnetic that I have, but they might have updated the packaging. Okay, yay. So these are magnetic. That's incredible. You can mix and match your palettes. That's awesome because I believe they've updated the packaging and um, those are, but I have the older packaging, but yeah, this is magnetic. I just wanted to note that I'm going to try going forward in all of my reviews to just stop, take a second and see if palettes are magnetic because I do get lots of requests and questions about that. So yeah, let's just jump into it. I'm going to try to use as many shades as possible today. I'm going to start off with Cavalier first. Oh, it's so pretty, like a little blue jean blue. Mm, I can't wait. And I'm just going to put this everywhere. And then we will jump into the other shades. Long time no see. Guys, it's been a while since I've filmed a video. So last week I filmed a lot of content. And um, then I got something on my face. That's like a fuzzy. Anyway, so I took my little SD card out of my camera. And it crumbled. And then that split second, like, everything stopped. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So, it is what it is. I just took some time away because I was a little overwhelmed. So, yeah, everything crumbled and life goes on anyways. So, I just want to take a little bit of a break from filming. And now I'm back. And this palette really inspired me to film a video today. So, the shade Cavalier is super pretty. I don't know. I have, like, fuzzies on my brush. <laughs> anyways, I like that shade. Really pretty very wearable gray blue nice cool tone now i have to go with the shade valor i want to put this grungy mustard yellow shade everywhere and see how it pulls on my skin tone because kind of depending on what skin tone you have these mattes will pull different oh yes yay i love it it's pulling that perfect grungy tone on me so I have a scratch on my eye over here, and if it looks a little patchy, it's because I have a scratch. It's not the formulation. They're blending out really nice. I just wanted to note that in case you saw it kind of weird. I have like a little scratch over there. So to deepen it up, I'm going to go in with Warrior and Marshall right here. I'm going to go in with the two deepest shades and just kind of build those up on one another in the outer corners and see how they layer. 
you're gonna have to let me know like what do you think about this color story I love it I just think it's so beautiful and more wearable for the brand in my opinion some of their other palettes are more bold so I'm just so excited to see this color story and also just like the feel of the packaging it feels better it feels a little heavier um I like that it's magnetic I just and I like also like the contrast in the packaging this is a brand that listens to their customers guys did y'all see the new Pat McGrath mothership palette that's about to launch the pinks and the golds that is a brand that does not listen to customers I was just like my jaw hit the floor like I, I kind of knew at least we'd get one or two pinks and golds but I did not realize we were getting a full pink palette I was like oh no poor Pat everyone's about to come for her um yeah I don't know I might get it when it's on sale like heavily discounted but I'm not gonna pay full price but I'm so curious your thoughts when you saw that palette I was just like this is real like is this a joke do you did not give us a full pink you know color story it's just like we look forward to it all year and I was like oh we're gonna get some fun honestly I was anticipating like a green brown color story because those are so trendy right now but nope maybe next year <sighs> I'm just putting on some NYX glitter glue before we go in with the shimmers they have one of my favorite shimmer formulas they're very typically soft squishy shifty sparkly I haven't swatched these yet so I'm very curious to see um so for the star of the show I oh they're so pretty I think I kind of want to warm it up and go with victory and a little bit of blade I think that's what I'm gonna do because victory looks okay so this is soft it's like a traditional but it, it feels nice very smooth I'm gonna go in with victory oh, it's like a beautiful bronzy orangey shade but it's got I believe purple some purple sparkles in there oh, very very pretty after I film this video, I have to go, I'm going to go mow the yard and give my dogs a bath because it's just that time. And it's so funny. I always feel like silly mowing in like a full face of makeup because it just, every time I mow, it's like I'm doing a review that day. So it just cracks me up. I bet my neighbors are like, what in the world? <laughs> okay, so those shimmers look so pretty with one another. And I'll say that Blade and Victory, they're the same texture. They're just a very smooth. They're not like a super wet feeling at all. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of like my first impressions. That is so pretty. I'm going to do the same thing over here. On the inner corner, I'm going to go with the shade Glory It looks so yummy and sparkly and shifty so i'm going to put this this one's more um squishier than the others i'm just popping that oh it's like a really pretty icy blue oh, oh my gosh this is a multi-chrome i see purple i see all kinds of different shades i'm gonna have to do like a few live swatches to kind of see because <gasps> this is completely first impressions i have not swatched these but wow that was a very nice surprise it's really shifty and pretty it's so bright that shade is so pretty I just want to put it everywhere but I, I'm not going to but tomorrow I'm, that that shade is going to be all over my lids you best know it okay now I feel like we have to try the other two shimmers so I'll use every shade in the palette uh, I'm going to go with the shade mighty on my lower lash line this is a very deep purple but there's beautiful gold sparkles in there so this shimmer feels like a victory in a blade so nice I'm gonna kind of put that one more towards the outer corner for definition you can also use shimmer shades to smoke out your eyes um, I love the glow like the glow the gold reflex it gives a very beautiful glow and sparkle like when you are just like looking around turning that's probably that and glory is probably my favorite shimmer and I'm gonna do the same thing over here and then we're gonna go in with like the more reddish toned one when you saw this color story what did you think I think it's gonna be so pretty like for the fall too those really deep tones with the beautiful grungy neutrals oh this is a beautiful I don't know how to describe this red bronze shade oh, that's gonna be really pretty in the fall like if you just go in with this shade that one and that one that'd be pretty or even like these three right here for a fall look if that's what you're going for or you could keep it super smoky so lots of versatility I'm finding out with this palette okay 
these four, one, two, three, four, those four shimmers are all the same texture. Very smooth, very pretty formula. And then the shade Glory is a little bit more squishy. So just if you're curious on the texture, because I do get questions and I'm always one to ask. That's kind of like how they feel. Okay, so I'm going to finish this look up off camera and I'll be back to show you what I came up with. Okay, so this is a finished look. All I did was add some mascara, the uh, Watch Me Mascara from What's Up Beauty. This was sent to me. I do have a first impressions on my uh, TikTok if you want to see that. And then I added the shade, let's see, Warrior and the shade Marshall. I mixed these two together for like a little bit of a liner on the outer corner. And that's it. I didn't want to use anything in the waterline because I just, I love the way it looks right now. So this is the finished look. I'm going to zoom you out and give you my thoughts on this palette. Okay, so first I want to start off with the packaging. I think the packaging is so beautiful. And like, look how far they've come. Like, look at this. Isn't that pretty? And I think that this just feels a little bit heavier. I like the magnetic. It's like, it's really nice. I like that the, the pans in here, they're magnetic. You can remove them, switch them out, put different shimmers in or vice versa. I think that the packaging is really nice. It feels amazing. And the price point's $38.99 before you use someone's discount code. I think the price is amazing. I really like Fantasy Cosmetica, how I have three other palettes from them, but they keep their price point down where you're like you're getting beautiful multi chromes, special shimmers with sparkles, pretty matte shades in there, and it's not breaking the bank. It's not like 60, 70 up palettes. Like they're getting so expensive now, but I like that Fantasy Cosmetica. They keep their price point low and more like I don't know affordable in a way where people can you know, realistically purchase it without, you know, it causing a problem in your life, you know, like you don't have to sell a kidney to get this palette. I think it's so pretty. I love the color story. I think it's very versatile. I can see lots of different everyday looks, fall looks like tomorrow. I just want to go in with the brown and that shade. You could do fall, you could do blue, smoky. I love the color story so much. Uh, it's competing. I love Druid guys. I do love Druid. Like how pretty, but like this one, I love these both. Like, they're competing. What can I say? I think Druid still has more, but like, I don't know. Uh, this palette's making me like those blue-gray looks. <sighs> Anyways, those are my thoughts on the palette. I love the look that I came up with. The perfume, I would say you have to really love a gourmand scent. Uh, very chocolatey. Like, if you want to smell like a deep, rich, mocha coffee sweet treat then i think you would like this it's a very strong my bottle the lid actually came off like i guess in shipment and so like i smelt it before i opened it but it's still fine i have a ton in here so it's the very like strong i think it's going like the lasting power i think it's going to be really nice but anyways those are my thoughts on this palette the perfume i love everything about it and i cannot wait to keep testing it whenever i do my ranking at the end of the year i think this one's gonna be really really hot up there that's how much I love the look that I got I think it's so pretty so yeah definitely let me know are you picking it up are you gonna dupe it uh shop your stash please let me know I almost forgot I wanted to laugh swatch a few holy moly straight up almost forgot <laughs> okay I'm gonna do glory it's very soft how how pretty okay I'm gonna do mighty now or might um Blade Victory. Why not? Okay. Oh, they're so beautiful. Let's just swatch them. This is very hard to do. So, <laughs> okay. Now let's kind of blend them out a little bit. Oh, those are so rich. How pretty. You know, I got to turn down the brightness, but that is just regular lighting. How pretty is that? Okay, this is with the lights turned down. Do you see the sparkle? Guys, I barely went into the shadow. And look how much pigment I got. Very, very pretty. I'm going to get really close. Like, it's going to be very close. So you can see some of the sparkles in Mighty. How, like, they're gold. You can see different reflex. Oh, just so, so beautiful. Thank you so much to Fantasy Cosmetica for sending this to me. It means the world to have one of your favorite brands send me, like, a palette. I can't, like, it's just unreal. I'm so thankful for this palette, and it's definitely going to be one in my collection that I just, I cannot stop reaching for. But that's going to do it for today's video. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye, guys. <laughs>